In this problem, we're going to examine what happens when we enlarge a photo. So Mark has a 4 by 6 inch photo that he had the copy machine blow up by 25%. So what are the new dimensions of the photo? Did the area of the photo increase by 25%? Explain. So, if you were to take a 4 by 6 inch photo and blow it up by 25%, what you'll see is that both dimensions actually get increased by 25%. So, let's do that to each of our dimensions. So we're going to take the side that's 4 inches. And remember, if we're increasing something by 25%, we're finding something that's 125% of the old amount. So 1.25 is what we're going to scale this 4 inch side by. Multiplying 4 by 1.25, we get 5 inches. We can do the same thing with 6. It's also being increased by 25%, which gives us 7.5 inches. So our new photo is 7.5 inches by 5 inches. That's what we would get out of the copy machine. And it still maintains that same ratio because we scaled both sides by the same factor. Now the area is going to be equal to 7.5 times 5 or 37.5 square inches because the other question is did the area increase by 25 percent now the area of the old photo was it was a 6 by 4 so the area was 24 square inches now if we were increasing 24 by 25 percent times our 1.25 we'd find what we would get is 125 percent, well 100 percent is 24 25 percent of this is 6 we would get 30 square inches. Now clearly that is not equal to 37.5 square inches. What's really interesting is the difference between the two. If we were to take 30 and multiply it by 1.25, we would actually get 37.5 square inches. Well, let's think about why this is happening. Over here, we multiplied each length by 1.25. To get the area, we multiplied the two sides together. So, what's going on here when we did 6 times 4 times 1.25, it was as if we were only multiplying one of those sides by the 1.25, or if we were only increasing one side by 25%. By doing it again, now it's as if we're increasing both sides by 25%. So, what, so to figure out what area it actually increased by, we'd have to actually multiply by 1.25 twice.